I'm Blake with SLF Motion. Today we'll be installing an Evo 1 by system for Shimano XT slash XTR 12 speed rear derailleur. Tools required for this installation are a Phillips screwdriver for removal of the stock cage stop screw, a two millimeter hex for the SLF Motion stop screw, as well as the clutch cover on the derailleur, and a four millimeter hex for removal and installation of each cage. First step is remove the chain and rear wheel. Now you'll shift your derailleur into its open position. To help with the process, I like to turn the clutch off, so just flip your lever down. Now we're ready to remove the rotation stop screw. Note the tension on the internal spring, so keep a hold of the cage with one hand while removing the screw. Once the screw is removed, slowly allow the cage to rotate up and over, releasing its tension. Now we are ready to remove the clutch cover using our two millimeter hex. As the clutch cover comes off, note that there is a rubber gasket inside. Be sure to keep a hold of that as we will reuse that for installation of the Evo system. Once off, now we are ready to remove the stock cage using your four millimeter hex. Be sure to keep pressure on the clutch system while you're removing. With the stock cage removed on your XTR derailleur, we are now ready to prep your Evo system. We will use the stock spring and stock plastic dust cover, as well as this silver metal washer. This washer is critical, make sure you use it. If you don't, your system will bind and it ain't gonna work. Install that first, then we'll slide the spring and the dust cover on we are ready to put it on the bike. Worth noting, make sure you haven't lost the rubber gasket. That is critical as well. With the stock cage removed from your XT rear derailleur, we are ready to prep your Evo system for installation. XT uses this unique washer provided with each system. You will install it onto your Evo system like so. Now we will remove and use the stock spring and stock dust cover, as well as this silver metal washer. This little washer is critical. Without using this, it's not gonna work. It's gonna bind, just ain't gonna work. Be sure you use both washers as shown. Reinstall stock spring, stock dust cover, and we are ready to put it on the bike. Worth noting, be sure you have not lost the stock rubber gasket. That is critical as well. With your Evo system prepped and ready, we are now ready to install it onto the derailleur. Lining the tabs in the back, you wanna make sure you keep one hand on the clutch mechanisms in front to not push them off. Next, you will take your four millimeter hex and install your SLF system. We are now ready to reinstall the clutch cover. We're gonna reuse the rubber gasket. Just make sure you orient it correctly so it can sit in the groove of the derailleur. Like so. Now we will take our two millimeter hex and reinstall the cover. Now we will remove the stop screw. Please pay close attention to this next step as it is critical. If not done correctly, your Evo system will not perform as designed. To create tension on the spring inside the derailleur, we need to rotate the cage up, backwards, and down 
until you are able to reinstall the stop screw. With the rear wheel installed, it is now time to also install the chain. Your stock chain length with your stock cage is likely the right length to be used with your new Evo cage. If by chance it's too short and you need to install a new uncut chain, just adjust accordingly. And if you're not comfortable doing so, take it to your local bike shop and they'll help you out. Just a few more steps to get your Evo system set up and riding. First, you will need to readjust your B screw, your high limit screw, and your low limit screw. And most importantly, you will need to readjust your trim. Just wanted to say thanks to my lovely wife, Abby, for letting us use her beautiful specialized stump jumper here. And now for my favorite part of every installation. 